We support constructive dialogue. We support diplomacy between India and Pakistan to resolve, again, another set of long-standing disputes. But ultimately, these are decisions uh, that India and Pakistan themselves are going to have to make. U.S. intelligence report released recently uh, in which United States expressed concern uh, about the peace and security of South Asia, uh, mainly because of Pakistan-India tensions. Uh, Pakistan offered uh, I can, uh, like offer to have a peace talks with India many times, but Indian government, you know, try to uh, avoid that. So when you engage with Indian authorities, what what reason they say why they don't want to talk to Pakistan on the on the pending issues? I, I will speak to the message we send to both India and Pakistan. Uh, we support constructive dialogue. We support diplomacy between India and Pakistan to resolve. Again, another set of long-standing disputes. Uh, we are uh, a partner. We are uh, willing to support that process in any way that they deem appropriate. But ultimately, these are decisions uh, that India and Pakistan themselves are going to have to make. So many uh, analysts believe that United States has the power and authority to mediate between the two partners. Pakistan and India is, you know, partners of Europe. So why don't you just mediate? Because these are decisions for the countries themselves. Uh, if uh, they agree uh, on a particular role for the United States, the United States is uh, prepared to, as a partner to both countries, support that process in any way that uh, we responsibly can. But ultimately, uh, it is not for the United States to determine the modalities or the way in which uh, India and Pakistan engage one another. Uh, what we support is constructive dialogue, uh, meaningful diplomacy between India and Pakistan in the first instance to resolve uh, long-standing conflicts.